everybody, what's going on? Happy Friday to everyone. And I teased yesterday about a really cool autograph that I was getting today and it came in the mail today. But first I wanna say, you know, as a parent, we raise our kids, we want them to do well. And we found out today that our daughter Jessica got into her first choice of college, which is the University of Oklahoma. So as a Texas guy, like not University of Texas, but I live in Texas, TCU fan, went to TCU. It's kind of sad, breaks my heart a little bit that my daughter wants to go to OU, but that's where my in-laws went. And uh, so I'm so proud of her. I'm just excited for that next part of her life and that journey that she's going to be on. You always hope your kids you know, make good decisions and, and do things right. And she is. And so I couldn't be more proud. So to that end, you know, yay, that's awesome. But let's talk about a card that I got today or an autograph that I got today, because back in July, right before the national, I did a preview video and I talked about what I wanted to get. Walter Johnson was one of the things that I really wanted to get. And I ended up not getting it because I found several None of them really just talked to me, I guess, and the prices were way more than I wanted to pay, and so I've been watching a lot of auctions to find one that I thought would fit great in my collection. And so here, I'm gonna show it to you first, talk about it a little bit, and then flip the camera around so you can see it a little bit better. But uh, there it is. Walter Johnson on this awesome envelope. And I know the glare is bad, but I'll, I'll turn it around in a second. But man, this is my 231st different Hall of Famer autograph. The ones I need now are all the toughies and the, the pricier ones. So really excited to get it. I'll talk about where I got it and all that stuff in just a second. But the last thing I'll leave you with before I flip the camera around is that tomorrow, now that I have this in hand, my plan is to do a... Uh, showcase video, I'm going to pull out my top 25 autographs, uh, Hall of Famer autographs, and show them in a showcase. And I think, I'm really excited about that. I think that'll be a really popular video. It'll have a lot of heavy hitters, a lot of cool stuff. Hope you'll enjoy it. So hang on a second. I'll flip the camera around. All right. So here it is. Uh, a little bit closer look at the Walter Johnson autograph. And you can see here, it's an envelope. Uh, it's literally just an envelope. If I turn it over, um, you'll see that it's, there's nothing on the back. It's just an envelope. I don't have any idea what was in it. Um, no clue. But up on the top left, Walter Johnson signed it. It's got this picture of a, of a baseball player here making a catch or something. I love the postmark up here is... Washington, D.C., August 28th, 1939. So this thing's almost 80 years old. Uh, Blaine Trimmer in Hagerstown, Maryland got this. I love the baseball stamp up here. Just so cool. The 100-year you know, centennial of baseball. That's a very cool vintage stamp. And uh, there you go. So I got this from Huggins & Scott Auctions. Uh, I paid after all the buyer's premiums and all the shipping and all the other stuff. It was $1,157. So I got it, you know, cheaper than I saw anything really at the National. Uh, I love it. It's a really high quality autograph. You know, I'm not excited about this part that it's a Beckett. Uh, don't, it is what it is. You know, if, if it was PSA, that'd be much better for me and for my collection, but I'm really not going to you know, be pissy about it. I'm just so excited to have it on the back. I don't know if I'll be able to show this easy, but up at the top there, you can see it's a Beckett nine autograph. So they graded the autograph as well. And it came back a nine, which makes me think if I was to send it off to PSA, uh, to have that get reholdered, it would come back at least an eight for sure, maybe a nine or a 10, but I have no plans on doing that. I really don't. Um, you know, you might have a different opinion. I'd love to hear it. That's fine. But I, I don't want to crack this out and risk messing it up. But really, really excited to have this. There it is. Uh, I'm not going to spend a whole lot. You can just look at it there. You can freeze the frame if you want. But let me know what you think down below. 
And I appreciate it, guys. Look forward to that showcase tomorrow. I can't wait to, for you guys to see kind of what I consider to be my top 25 Hall of Famer autographs. And I still got a bunch of uh, contests to respond to, all that good stuff. So hope everybody has a great weekend and keep collecting.